one Nikki here just to share some junk journal smash bookie flip through and I've kind of broken my craft shopping ban but not really because I've had a voucher and it only cost me 78p so I don't really call that breaking my craft ban because it's like essential stuff but first of all I will show you this I've just realised my battery is a little bit low so I'm hoping I don't get cut out. If I do then I'll do a two part video of it. So this is my Xmas, last Xmas um, bits and bobs book. So junkie, burn, um, junkie book and the cover is um, an old Christmas card and I've stitched it together. I don't know if you've ever seen it but probably not. Um, stitched it together using my sewing machine the front is scrap bits of paper and then I just splodged some paint on it so it was scrap bits of paper painted over and then I put some crafters companion spray and shine added some thickers on it which I then coloured with my pro markers um, and then I've just used scrap bits of paper that I've painted scribbled on just some bits from the advent calendar some stamps old christmas card i cut up christmas tags christmas ribbon so, so any bits that i had left over that i got given to me for christmas like on parcels or i had left over from stuff i was making so christmas bows labels more of that ribbon which is from fantastic ribbon i've never ordered from them i've only got it when i've been to like shows and stuff but I do plan to do an order with them somewhere. Um, little journaling notes, um, sweet wrappers. Um, these ones here, pages here, are um, tumble dryer sheets that are dried out and then I just sort of splattered some paint on. So I'm not quite arty. I mean, some of the things I see you lot do, oh, they're just incredible, but I'm not up to that. Bits of wrapping paper. A die that was on a magazine I brought from Christmas and it says thank you. Just coloured that with the pro marker. Another, um, oh, this is a colour catcher that I let dry out and then went over with some pens. More tags, uh, more Christmas paper. Uh, I think it's just more tags and stuff like that. And then I also used the yellow, page, yellow pages that I just sort of inked on. So that's that one. This one hasn't got anything in, but I've just sort of put it together. So it's just a little junk journal that I can take with me when I go and stay with mum and dad. So I haven't got to take my bigger one. I can just take a small one and stick some bits in there and then take those bits out and put in my main one. Some flowers I made, which I think I've shown in a video before, using felt and my Tim Holtz dye. And then added some beads. And that's got washi... Um, washi tape and like post-it notes and I just um, sort of splodge some paint on there not brilliantly but just to cover it um, so then I've made a little pocket and just stapled it together and gone over with a pro marker it's like magazine pages little note I stuck in um, I've made like a rough pocket and put some little notes in so if I want to write anything down um so it's just made out of old leaflets and stuff um another little journaling note i don't put too much in them because i take i don't actually keep these ones i take them apart and put them in my weight main one so because i like different textures another little pocket i made um that's about it on that one and then this one is my mini random book um so i put stickers on there a little bird charm from wild orchid crafts that was left over from a card i was making and this cover is when you get a box you know when you get a box of chocolates you get that um like crinkly layer so i just went over with um my pro markers and <coughs> sorry i've got a bit of a bubble in my throat or frog in my throat um and then I sort of smudged it in and then I've just added it's come that way 
just added like magazine pages, pages I've stamped on and I'm going to use this book for trying out techniques um, anything just random that I fancy doing so this book will be a keeper I won't take this one apart because I just really love the cover which sounds a bit odd so the little bits I got that totaled up to 78p which I can't believe because I had a Sainsbury's voucher because they did a match more thing so it meant I could get some so just um, purpose glue because I've run out and then as I've only just got back into my messy crafting I didn't have any paint um, paint brushes this is a kiddie one but I'm not bothered by that so you've got like a sponger and different paint brushes and what's nice about them obviously because they're for kids is the handles are a triangle shape so it's that um, good old PVA glue because I've really run out of all my glues and then this some kiddies paint so okay it's kiddies paint and it's basic but to have all this for 78p I really can't see how that I really went over my craft thing so let's just open this up so you've got these nice little um, tubs of paint so there's green oh, there, there are green yellow orange blue red and purple um, they're washable which is handy for when I get really scruffy so yeah um, six colours washable kids paint by Creola Crowler can never say it properly um, so yeah that's about all I've really got to say to this short little video and I hope to be back soon I'm pretty sure I won't get any videos done because today is Tuesday the 19th and I know I won't get any more videos done this week as I've got quite a lot on with doctor's appointments and stuff and catching up with some friends and next week's looking quite busy so I will be back as soon as I can so take care bye